Happy anniversary, Gridwise Alliance. This is Steve Hauser. <clears throat> I'm currently the CEO of the Association of Edison Illuminating Companies, but I had the privilege of founding the Gridwise Alliance these 20 years ago. And I thought I would talk a little bit about those early days. Um, many of you probably don't know <clears throat> where and when we started. In the early summer of 2003, there was a group of us that had dinner um, actually in a restaurant in Santa Fe. There was someone from IBM there, someone from Sempra, from Rockport Capital, myself, and a couple of others. And there was a long discussion about whether it was appropriate to start a new trade association that was focused on smart grid. And after a long discussion, we decided to go ahead and launch the Gridwise Alliance. And I was tasked with actually uh, filling out the paperwork to, uh, to start the Alliance. I did that in, uh, in early August of 2003 and filed the paperwork with, with Delaware as a Delaware C6 corporation. Um, I was living in Alabama at the time, and uh, for those of you that were around in those days, you might remember mailing your dues checks to me at Madison, Alabama. Um, so we started the Alliance uh, around August. Uh, there was a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek in those early days in prior to August <clears throat> about the need to just have a, a blackout to indicate to the industry how important smart grid w was going to be to the industry or modernizing the grid, if you will. And of course, it was that summer, August of 2003, that the Northeast blackout did occur. I promise you, we didn't have anything to do with that. But, um, but we launched the Alliance. Uh, we were off and running. We started working with the Department of Energy that that year. We held a number of meetings, signed some agreements with the Department of Energy, and um, I served as the president on a volunteer basis for the Alliance for the first five years or so until we grew uh, to be big enough to hire a, a full-time uh, CEO slash president. And, but I stayed involved uh, all during those years. Um, and in 2016, I think it was, the board asked me to consider coming back as a full-time CEO, which I agreed to do. And I served again as the CEO for about five years until I, uh, I left to take my current position and Karen Whalen stepped in as the CEO. So happy that we're able to celebrate this anniversary, hoping to see some of you in Washington, D.C. this week and uh, look forward to catching up. Thank you. Happy anniversary, Gridwise Alliance. I remember a little over 20 years ago, Steve Hauser telling me about conversations he'd been having with some colleagues at PNNL about creating a new organization to represent what was then a new part of the clean energy industry, the smart grid space. Uh, I remember the first Gridwise Alliance congressional reception on Capitol Hill sponsored by IBM. And fast forward 20 years, uh, it is great to see the Alliance having grown into a full-fledged member of the clean energy community uh, and it's part of the industry grow and i wish it great success in the months and years ahead thank you happy anniversary gridwise alliance this is ward camp i was involved with gridwise from the early aughts to the uh, early teens and I'm very proud of the bipartisan way that we moved the ball forward uh, for a smarter, better, more secure grid. And then we did it with technology providers, utilities, academics. 
with the whole gamut of uh, providers and players in the space. And for that, I am very grateful for and I'm very proud to have been a part of. Happy anniversary, Gridwise Alliance. This is Ward Camp. And I was involved on the board of directors from the early aughts to the early teens. Very grateful for the hard work that you've done and the way that we were able to pull stakeholders from across the industry, whether they're utilities, technology providers, academics, research labs. We did good work. I'm very grateful for the work that you're doing today. Happy anniversary, Gridwise Alliance. My name's Rob Wilhite with Black & Beach, and it's been my pleasure to have worked with Gridwise for the past 15 years of its 20-year existence. While there have been numerous accomplishments at Gridwise Alliance over the past two decades, one project that stands out for me is the U.S. Smart Grid Revolution Report we published back in January 2009. Now that was, of course, during the initial days of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, and it was Gridwise that developed a detailed analysis around the key question of how many and what types of jobs the federal eight RRA grid investment grants could provide for the country. This was a watershed moment for Gridwise, and it certainly enhanced its reputation and image as a thought leader in the power industry. Thank you, Gridwise Alliance. I'd like to say happy anniversary, Gridwise Alliance. Uh, my name is Brian Nicholson, and I had the opportunity to support Gridwise activities for about 10 years, uh, from 2010 uh, to the end of 2019 in various roles. Um, I think about the things that we've done uh, as a group and am most proud of the leaders uh, that I got to be around and support uh, as part of Gridwise Alliance's work. Uh, Catherine Hamilton, uh, Jim Marazzi, Mary Arnold, Becky Harrison, Steve Hauser, uh, Chuck McDermott, Guido Bartels, Bob Shepard, Scott Prohaska, Calvin Butler, and Gil Quinones, um, and so many more um, that the list would be too long to name. Um, you all are the Gridwise Alliance, and I am most proud of having supported your efforts. Happy anniversary, Gridwise Alliance. Lee Crevat here, board director from 2011 to 2014, and again as operations chair from 2018 to 2022. I've also had the pleasure of interviewing climate leaders at GridConnect since 2019, often putting them in the hot seat. But my fondest memory was in December 2012, when the board was having trouble paying for the development of the Grid Modernization Index. I volunteered to do it over the next six months, but my friend, Karen Lefkowitz, VP of Transformation at Pepco, challenged me to get it done in a month. So that was my holiday vacation that year, but it was done in January and it's still going strong today. Happy anniversary, Gridwise Alliance. My name is Ladine Freemuth, and I served as Gridwise's policy director from 2013 to 2019. I applaud Steve Hauser for his vision in having created the Gridwise Alliance and appreciate his support, which led to my having become its policy director. I consider it a privilege to have been able to work with the amazing group of leaders across utilities, manufacturing companies, and other entities that comprise Gridwise's membership and its board. I am pleased that we were able to raise Gridwise's profile through a range of policy and legislative actions. One of the many activities of which I am most proud is having stood up the Congressional Bipartisan Smart Grid Caucus with the great help and leadership of Representatives McNerney and Latta and their truly fantastic staffs. The Smart Grid Caucus conducted a range of educational activities, including a grid expo. Both the caucus and the expo continue today. In addition, Representatives McNerney and Latta introduced grid modernization and cybersecurity legislation that became law and that the Gridwise Alliance supported. One of Gridwise's most important initiatives has involved the Smart Grid Investment Grant Program. Gridwise began working on this effort in the mid-2000s when I was consulting to a partner organization. The Smart Grid Investment Grants became law in 2007 and were substantially funded in 2009 in the stimulus package, which jump-started the grid modernization industry. During my time with Gridwise, we updated this program. Most recently, 
This program has been updated again and substantially funded again in the bipartisan infrastructure law to facilitate the next generation of important grid modernization technologies. Congratulations, Gridwise, on all of your important milestones. I wish you continued success in the next 20 years and beyond. Happy anniversary, Gridwise Alliance. I'm Eric Gilbert, and my involvement with Gridwise goes back uh, more than probably 10 years now. Uh, One of the early efforts I supported and remember fondly was the Grid of the Future workshop series sponsored by the US DOE, which is probably in the 2013-14 timeframe. And it resulted in an industry-driven shared vision of the 2030 grid. And uh, much of that vision is still relevant today. Uh, I served on the board of directors uh, for Gridwise Alliance from 2015 through 2019. And one of the things I'm most proud of during that time was helping lead the effort to update uh, the grid modernization index, which has been a significant contribution to the uh, to the industry. So Gridwise Alliance, thank you for all your contributions and for your continuing service in helping our grid meet the considerable challenges of the future. Thank you. Happy anniversary, Gridwise Alliance. I'm Wade Troxell, and I served on the Gridwise Alliance board from 2016 to 2022. I also served on the Gridwise Architectural Council and a founding member there. I'm so proud of the many things that the Gridwise Alliance has done over the years, and particularly in the service to electric utilities and municipal electric utilities. Again, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary to the Gridwise Alliance. I'm Mark Gabriel, the president and chief executive officer of United Power and also honored to serve as the chairman of the board of Gridwise. For the past 20 years, Gridwise has led the industry in thought and in practice. And we really all have a great debt of gratitude to the organization for helping the vision, taking a look at the changes that need to be made in our industry and leading the way. Thanks again, Gridwise Alliance and happy 20th anniversary. 